It looks like we're starting to get a little bit of the 2021 Xfinity Series and the Truck Series schedule as they will be headed to Dakota along with the Cup Series in 2021. What's going guys? It's Daniel and welcome back to another video. As I said just a second ago, the Xfinity Series and Truck Series will be headed to Dakota along with the Cup Series on the May 21st through 23 weekend. This is the first official announcement for the Xfinity Series and Truck Series for 2021. Now, what has not been determined is what the race lengths are going to be for these events. The course selection and complete weekend schedule, these will be announced at a later date. I'm expecting those to be announced when all the race links in the course selection is selected for the Cup Series as well. Now, like I said, the Xfinity Series and Truck Series have revealed it, and I am really excited for this to happen. And honestly, I just can't wait for the Cup, the Xfinity Series and Truck Series schedules in general to get re revealed. But I am extremely excited for Coda to be on a schedule because I think the Xfinity Series is going to probably put on the best show of all three series. I think Spinny Series, especially we saw the Indianapolis Road Course is their first time there when they had a little bit of practice and all series are going to have practice for these set events. But I am just, the racing, especially the end of that event, was some of the best road course racing I have ever seen. It was just phenomenal to watch, incredible. And I think that the fans are in for an incredible treat next year at these races. For the Truck Series, I think the Truck Series will put on a pretty good show as well. I think the road course package for the Truck Series is really good. I think, especially for the Daytona Road Course earlier this year, the battle between Brett Moff and Sheldon Creep for the win last time we were at a Road Course for the Truck Series is going to be incredible. I'm wondering if also if they're going to be racing at Canadian Tire next year or if they're just going to be running at the, at uh, Coda. I think there's a good chance you could see both of those events taking place next year. I think you're going to see a couple Road Course races for the Truck Series reveal for next year. The fact that you're going to have multiple races probably next year for the Truck Series um, road course racing, that's going to be really fun to watch. And the Xfinity Series is going to have a lot of road courses as well. Now, like I said, they have not officially revealed the 2021 Xfinity Series and Truck Series schedules. Ben Kenny recently had an interview with Bob Pockers, and he said that they were on September 30th. He said that they were supposed to be revealing the schedule in a couple weeks, but there have been delays recently because there have been recent resurgence of some news that has come out. According to David Land, there is a possibility that Road Atlanta could be on the Xfinity Series schedule. Again, I'm not sure if that means Xfinity is going to be going to Atlanta Motor Speedway once, and then the other weekend they might go to Road Atlanta for another road course series. That is really possible. And in Truck Series, there's a rumor circulating that they might be headed to Langley Speedway next year. Again, Truck Series races tend to only get about 10,000 fans in general anyways, especially for the smaller racetracks. So there's a very good possibility that Langley Speedway might end up getting a race date as well, once again, for the first time in the Truck Series in quite some time. But for the Truck Series, I think it's going to be a lot of drivers dominating the GMS trucks, and definitely going to see a lot of road course stringers. Maybe like Alex Tagliani will come out of retirement, maybe see a bunch of other road course stringers who have ran road course in the past, maybe come out to Dakota and run those races as well. For the Xfinity Series, it's probably going to be Austin Nitter versus AJ Allmendinger is going to go off for the win in pretty much every single week. But I think that the battles are just going to be phenomenal. Watch. I think Noah Grayson could also emerge as a road course racer next year as all theaters drivers are probably going to be racing full-time Xfinity. We know Cindric and Grayson are confirmed. AJ Allmendinger, while he has not been confirmed for next year, I think he will be racing. And I think those three are going to put on an incredible show next year, especially at this racetrack. Now, I am hoping and praying they do go with the full course because there's so many passing zones. There's a lot of short track corners, and there's a lot of abilities to pass in those corners. And I really do hope and pray that we get to see really good races from you know both of those series. Because like I said, I think the racing, especially in the truck series, finish series, especially on the road courses, has been really fun to watch this year. And the battles, especially with some of the top tier drivers who are really good on road courses, I think they're going to put on a lot of phenomenal shows next year. And I just cannot wait to see how the races are going to go next year. I think we're going to see a lot of spectacular racing next year. I think that it's just going to be fun to watch. I'm just really also excited to see when they're going to reveal the Xfinity and Truck Series schedule. The fact that they have started to give a little bit of a glimpse of what next year's schedule is going to look like, my speculation to me is that they're either going to release it next week or in the next couple weeks. The fact that we're starting to get a little bit of a look at next year's schedule for Trucks and Xfinity, that is giving me an indicator, in my opinion, that they're going to be releasing the 2021 Trucks and Xfinity Series schedules in the near future. I would say in the next couple weeks, we're going to start seeing that. I think you're going to see some surprises on that schedule. Maybe some new tracks that show up in Xfinity Series and do some new tracks we haven't seen in Cup in quite some time. Or some new tracks for Xfinity uh, that we haven't seen in a long time as well coming back. And I think that it's going to be really exciting once this schedule is revealed. But yeah, really exciting news today for sure that Coda is going to have both of the races. I'm really excited for those events. 
Anyway, that is it going to be it for today's short NASCAR news video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, turn notification on so you can be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Link description below for that. And comment your thoughts on today's video. How excited are you for the Trucks and Xfinity Series getting some races next year at Code along with the Cup Series in 2021? Let me know in comments below. I just recently uploaded my 2020, my final 2021 NASCAR Cup Series driver lineup predictions. Go check that out. I would really appreciate it. Anyway, like I said, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like this so YouTube can recommend more of these great videos out to you guys. If you do that, I would appreciate it. Anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.